Hello everybody. Welcome from HBACR Design Engineering. My name is Tuya R. Now, I want to talk about Go-Room Refrigeration Working Principle. Go-Room is an insulated space designed to maintain the certain temperature of food and chemical products. Now we see is a Go-Room Refrigeration Working Diagram. Compressor complex the low pressure, low temperature, refrigerant vapor and changing into the form of high pressure, high temperature, refrigerant vapor. High pressure gauge show the discharge pressure of the compressor. Discharge line is start from compressor discharge outlet to condenser inlet. High pressure switch is located on the discharge line. High pressure switch bloated the refrigeration system from over pressure lines. When the pressure is high enough to reach the certain pressure, switch in high pressure switches open and stopping the compressor running. Why separator is the component which separate the replication Y from the refrigerant vapor? By removing the lubrication oil from the refrigerant vapor, refrigeration system efficiency is increased. Oil separator separate lubrication oil from the refrigerant vapor and return the lubrication oil back to the compressor crankcase. Compressor discharge the high pressure, high temperature refrigerant vapor into the condenser coil. The air that is surrounding the condenser coil is becoming hot air by absorbing the heat from the high pressure, high temperature refrigerant vapor. This hot air surrounding the condenser coil is blow through into the atmosphere. For this reason, condenser is located at the outside of the room. After passing through the condenser coil, high pressure, high temperature, refrigerant vapor is changing to high pressure, medium temperature, refrigerant liquid. Liquid receiver is used as a storage tank for excess refrigerant liquid. If you close the bar in liquid receiver during the refrigeration system is running, all the refrigerant liquid is collected into the liquid receiver so you can put all the refrigerant liquid into the liquid receiver filter dryer is capturing the water particle and solid system from refrigerant liquid solenite valve is electrically operated bar solenite valve is open when the coil in solenite valve is energized solenite valve is closed when the coil in solenite valve is de-energize. When the compressor is stopped running, solenoid valve is brought the flow of refrigerant liquid into the evaporator. The other purpose of using solenoid valve in refrigeration system is pan down all the refrigerant liquid into the liquid receiver. If solenoid valve is closed during refrigeration system is running, all the refrigerant liquid is pumped down into the liquid receiver. Side glass is basically a piece of glass that you can look into the refrigerant pipe. Refrigerant liquid line is start from condenser outlet to evaporator inlet. If filter dryer is defect and getting clogged, that will create pressure drop in the refrigerant liquid line. At the time, you will see bubble in the cycle. Bubble in the cycle is showing the moisture in the refrigeration system. Moisture in the refrigeration system is creating acid and damage the refrigeration system. Thermostatic expansion bar controls the flow of refrigerant liquid into the evaporator. Sensing bar sends the temperature of the evaporator outlet. According to the sensing temperature of the sensing bar, thermostatic expansion bar is increased or decreased the amount of refrigerant liquid 
flowing into the evaporator. After passing through the thermostatic expansion valve, refrigerant liquid is changing from high pressure, medium temperature refrigerant liquid into the form of low pressure, low temperature refrigerant liquid. This low pressure, low temperature refrigerant liquid is flowing into the evaporator coil. Low pressure, low temperature refrigerant liquid is absorbing the heat from the air that is surrounding the evaporator coil. So, the air surrounding the evaporator coil is changing to cold air. For chilling or freezing the food and chemical product, this cold air is blown through into the cold room by evaporator fan. For this reason, evaporator is located inside the cold room. After passing through the evaporator, low pressure, low temperature refrigerant liquid is changing into the form of low pressure, low temperature refrigerant vapor. Such an accumulator is a tank. If have an inlet and outlet. Compressor is designed to suction the refrigerant vapor only, not refrigerant liquid. If refrigerant liquid is coming into the suction accumulator, refrigerant liquid is going to settle at the bottom of the suction accumulator. So only refrigerant vapor is coming into the compressor. Such a line is start from evaporator outlet to compressor suction inlet. Low pressure switch is located on the suction line. When the pressure is lower enough to reach the certain pressure, switch in low pressure switch is open and stop the compressor running. Low pressure gauge shows the suction pressure of the compressor. After complete the refrigeration cycle, Compressor is searching again the low pressure, low temperature refrigerant viva for repeating the refrigeration cycle. Thank you very much for watching my video.